in this video we are going to discuss about addressing modes of 8086 microprocessor addressing modes are mainly useful in order to determine effective address we know that effective address contains operand or data generally we will perform operations on operand or data so by using addressing modes we can determine effective address or operand generally operands are available either in registers or memory so if operand is available in the memory or if operand is available in the register we have to determine the effective address so that should be done with the help of the addressing modes so we have different types of addressing modes such as immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode second one is implied addressing mode third one is direct addressing mode fourth one is register addressing mode fifth one is register indirect addressing mode in register indirect addressing mode we have uh, three approaches are there the first one is based register indirect addressing mode second one is indexed register indirect addressing mode third one is based indexed register indirect addressing mode and the next one is uh, register relative addressing mode register relative addressing mode or this can also be called as register indirect addressing mode register indirect with displacement register indirect with displacement here also we have three approaches are there first one is uh, relative based addressing mode second one is uh, relative indexed addressing mode third one is uh, relative based indexed addressing mode and the next one is uh, uh, intra segment addressing mode and the last one is uh, inter segment addressing mode so totally we have eight addressing modes are there in this video we are going to discuss about all these addressing modes with the help of some examples so first let us see the first one the first two type of addressing mode is immediate addressing mode so what is the first one immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode so what is immediate addressing mode if instruction immediately contains operand instead of address then it is called as immediate addressing mode so immediate addressing mode means instruction contains operand instead of address here for all these addressing modes here we are taking the help of the move instruction move the syntax for the move is move destination comma source so whenever move instruction is executed then the contents of the source will be moved to the destination okay uh, let us take an example for the immediate addressing mode so move ax comma 2000 h h means it is some hexadecimal number so whenever the statement is executed here why this is called as uh, an example for immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode means instruction contains the operand here instruction contains 2000 so this 2000 is nothing but operand it is not containing the address so whenever this instruction is executed then 2000 will be moved to the ax now ax register we know the capacity of the ax register ax register totally contains 16 bits this is hexadecimal notation hexadecimal notation means each digit contains 4 bits so 2 contains 4 bits 0 contains 4 bits so 4 into 4 means 16 bits so now ax contains what 2000 let us take one more example move al comma some 55 h 
Here AL means lower order accumulator. The capacity is 8 bits only. So that's why we have taken only 2 digits. So wherever this statement is executed, then 55 will be copied to the AL. So the first lower order byte. Higher, here we will have higher order byte as well as lower order byte. Now lower order byte contains what? 55. So this is AL, this is AH. So this is about uh, immediate addressing mode. Now let us see the second one. The second one is implied addressing mode. What is implied addressing mode? The name itself specifies the meaning. We can call implied addressing mode as implicit addressing mode. Here the operand is implicitly available in the definition of the instruction. If you take the previous example, that is immediate addressing mode. Immediate addressing mode means instruction contains the operand. Whereas uh, uh, in remaining all the addressing modes, operand means operand is available in the effective address. So that effective address, that address will be specified in the instruction. Whereas implied addressing mode means there is no need to specify any operand or address. There is no need to specify any operand or address. So here that operand is implicitly available in the definition of the instruction. Here implied addressing mode means the operations will be performed on the content of the accumulator implicitly. The best examples for these instructions are CLC, STC. So CLC means clear accumulator, a clear carry flag, clear carry flag. So CL means clear, so clear carry flag, whereas STC means set to carry flag set carry flag so let accumulator contains totally 16 bits so here stc means what set the carry flag so that carry flag will be set to 1 whereas clc means what clear the carry flag clear the carry flag so that means that carry flag will be clear to 0 okay so here uh, Implied means in, uh, automatically the, those operations will be performed on the content of the accumulator. Okay. So these two are the best example. STC set the carry flag. So CLC means clear the carry flag. So clear means carry flag will be clear to 0. STC means carry flag will be set to 1. Okay. And uh, let us see the next one. The next addressing mode is direct addressing mode. Direct addressing mode direct addressing mode so direct addressing mode means uh, instruction contains we know that we will have two operands the first operand is destination the second operand is uh, uh, source okay here direct addressing mode means one operand must be memory and another operand must be register if source is memory then destination must be register Likewise, if source is register, then destination must be memory. So, direct addressing mode means that instruction contains the effective address. Effective address contains operand. So, move AX comma within the box some 2000 H. 2000 H. So, here this box means this is not operand. Box specifies that this is address. This is what address. Here 2000 means it is an address. It is not the operand. Okay. So what is direct addressing mode? Instruction contains the address. So that address is called as effective address. Now we have to go to the location 2000 in order to determine what is the operand. Now let 2000 contains 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is the operand now. Now 1, 2, 3, 4 will be moved to the AX. Now AX contains what? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is about direct addressing mode. Instruction contains an address. That address is called as effective address. Effective address contains the operand. Now let us see the next addressing mode. The next addressing mode is register addressing mode. Next one is register addressing mode. So the name itself specifies the meaning. Register addressing mode means both source and register, both source and destination must contain what? Register only. 
so source and destination will be register only should be register only okay so that means here register contain the data so move ax comma bx so here ax is nothing but one register bx is nothing but another register so whenever this statement is executed then the content of the bx will be moved to the ax now ax will have bx content okay so this is about register indirect address register addressing mode register contains the operand or data now let us see the next one that is register indirect addressing mode register indirect addressing mode so register indirect addressing mode means register contains the effective address register contains the effective address we know that effective address will contains what operand or data so register contains effective address we of the operand or data here we have three approaches are there the first one is based register indirect addressing mode based register indirect addressing mode so based means base register so base register contains the corresponding effective address so what is the base register bx so bx contains the base register bs contains effective address of the operand or data now let us see an example move bx comma move ax comma bx so this square brackets this boxes specifies that this is not the operand this is what address effective address address now uh, let us assume that bx contains 2000 bx contains 2000 now 2000 is the effective address now we have to go to the 2000 memory location in order to know what is the operand let 2000 contains 1234 now 1234 will be moved to the ax now ax contains 1234 let us see the next one. The next one is indexed addressing, indexed register indirect addressing mode. So, based register indirect addressing mode means base register contains the effective address. Whereas, indexed register indirect addressing mode means what? Index register contains the effective address of the operand. We have two types of index registers are there. Source index as well as destination index register. Now, SI or DI contains effective address. Okay. Uh, let the instruction is like this. Move AX comma SI. Now, SI contains effective address. Let SI is 2000. Now, we have to go to the 2000 memory location in order to determine what is the operand. Let 2000 contains 1234. So, 1234 will be moved to the AX. Let us see the third one that is the combination of the both. So, based indexed register indirect addressing mode. Based indexed register indirect addressing mode. Based indexed means we have to add base register address as well as index register address in order to determine the effective address. So, the sum of base register and index register will be the effective address of the operand let us see an example for this so move ax comma within the square brackets base register means bx plus index register means we can use either source index or destination index let bx contains 2000 si contains 2000 so 2000 plus 2000 means what 4000 4000 so now we have to go to the 4000 memory location in order to determine the operand let 4000 uh, address contains 5678 now 5678 will be moved to the ax ax so this is about what based indexed addressing mode so 5678 is nothing but operand whereas 4000 is nothing but address effective address here our target is what finding the effective address only okay so this is about register uh, in the register indirect addressing mode now let us see the next one that is uh, so one two three four four are over the next one is register relative addressing mode 
register relative addressing mode or this can also be called as register register indirect addressing mode with displacement with displacement so here in addition to the register we have displacement also displacement means some constant value so the name itself specifies the meaning register relative addressing mode means register so what is the register it may be either base register or index register base register or index register so that register will be added to will be added to this displacement displacement capacity may be either 8 bit or 16 bit so will be added to 8 bit or 16 bit displacement in order to calculate the effective address so here we are going to calculate effective address by adding the register with 8 bit or 16 bit displacement that register may be either based register or indexed register so here also we have three approaches just like the register indirect addressing mode so the first one is based relative based relative or register relative based so relative based addressing mode the second one is relative indexed addressing mode and the third one is combination of both relative based indexed addressing mode so let us see an example so relative based means here the register is what base register so base register will be added to the displacement uh, let let us take an example move ax comma move ax comma base register means bx plus some constant let that constant is 25h now bx will contains the effective address okay so let this is base register let the effective address is 2000 now 2000 will be added to the 25 so 2000 plus 25 means 2025 now we have to go to the 2025 memory location in order to know the you know operand so let the operand is 1234 now 1234 will be moved to the ax okay so 1234 is nothing but operand 2025 is nothing but effective address let us see the next one that is uh, relative indexed addressing mode so relative indexed addressing mode means what here we have to add index register it may be either source index or destination index with the displacement in order to know the effective address so di plus 25h let di value is 2000 so 2000 plus 25 means 2025 now 2025 will becomes the effective address let the value is 1234 so 1234 will be moved to the ax whereas relative based index addressing mode means we have to add we have to add base register br so br base register uh, bx 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 is a combination of uh, bh and bl okay base register plus index register let it be 25 uh, let uh, displacement is 25h let base is 2000 let uh, destination is also let destination is uh, 3000 so let base is 2000 let uh, this uh, destination index is uh, 3000 so 2000 plus 3000 means 5000 5000 plus 25 means 5025 now 5025 will becomes the effective address let the operand is 1234 now 1234 is moved to the AX. So this is about uh, register relative addressing mode. Now let us see the last one that is uh, intra segment addressing mode. Intra segment addressing mode. So intra segment addressing mode. And we have one more addressing mode that is inter segment addressing mode. So these, uh, these two are the examples for uh, uh, control transfer addressing modes. Control transfer addressing mode. So till now we have seen about uh, sequential addressing modes. Sequential addressing modes. So sequential addressing mode means uh, in the program, the program contains several instructions. All the instructions are to be executed in sequential manner one by one. Whereas these two are the examples for control transfer. So control transfer means uh, 
the control will be transferred from one place to the another place depending upon the condition. If we take C, we have uh, if else. If the condition is true, then one block will get executed. If the condition is false, then else block will get executed. If the condition is true, if block will get executed. If the condition is false, else block will get executed. So those are control transfer addressing modes. The best examples for the control transfer modes are uh, uh, we have uh, call, return. We will discuss about uh, uh, these addressing modes in detail later. We have various types of instructions, data transfer instructions, uh, program control instructions. These will become program control transfer instructions. There we will discuss these instructions in uh, detail. Uh, now little bit of information is enough for this concept. So call, return, jump. These three are the best examples for the control transfer uh, instructions. Okay. So while executing these instructions, we use uh, these addressing modes. Here intra-segment addressing mode means uh, that destination address will be in the same segment only. So the source address as well as destination address will be in the same segment only. Will be in the same segment only. Here also we have a direct intra-segment addressing mode and indirect intra-segment addressing mode. Okay, Direct addressing mode as well as indirect addressing mode. Direct addressing mode means what? It contains some address. Okay, So that address contains the operand. Whereas indirect address means we have to go to one more location in order to determine the effective address. It is just like uh, direct addressing mode and indirect addressing mode. Already we have seen previously. And the uh, next one is uh, inter-segment addressing mode. Inter-segment addressing mode means we will have two segments. So source will be in one segment, whereas destination will be in another segment. Okay. Source and destination are different segments here. Here also we have two approaches. So direct intra direct inter-segment, whereas indirect uh, uh, indirect uh, segment addressing mode. So this is about uh, addressing modes of uh, 8086 microprocessor.